see it is the European Automobile Manufacturers Association and essentially it's the EU manufacturers of cars, vans, buses and trucks. ASEA is named the European Oil Sequence, but this does not mean it's just for the European regions. It's for European vehicles around the world. The European region manufactures a very large proportion of the world's passenger cars. And as these vehicles are exported from their domestic markets to markets like China, North America, Southeast Asia, even Korea or to Japan, these vehicles still require the same lubricants. It's true to say that the ASEA performance for lubricant quality is more globally recognised today than ever before. The latest ASEA update takes into account the key trends occurring in the vehicle park. You've seen a real evolution in recent years in gasoline engine technology to address the latest demands and emissions requirements. So the largest changes are the introduction of two new categories, uh, CSC6 and A7B7. At the same time, two older categories are going to be retired and there's also going to be the addition of some important new tests. China is set to introduce the China 6A standard in 2021, followed by China 6B in 2023. This has been acknowledged by many as well as the most stringent emission standard globally. It means we will see an increasing demand of ASEAN middle set oil in China's service market. And therefore, the updated sequences provide a new baseline for the next generation of specifications in both high SAPs and lower SAPs lubricants. The new engine test requirements test lubricants in a way that's representative for turbo gasoline direct injection engines, or as we say, TGDI. TGDI technology allows for greater power density and efficiency towards this end. Most OEMs globally are moving in this direction. If those new vehicles that are equipped with turbocharged gasoline direct injection engines, the low speed pre ignition is becoming a reality, and I consider that the most important upgrade in this new specification. So definitely this upgrade comes in in the right time to give the engines the right protection for durability and performance. Having a global strategy, having global presence has never been more important. China is forecast to have the largest growth in the world. European OEM present more than 20% of China market, which means very big portion of European style vehicle in China need a sea oil. While the LSAT categories in North America meets the needs of North American OEM engine technologies, it may not fully address the durability needs of European OEMs. The lubricants meeting a CR sequence helps in bridging this gap. And we can see that all countries in Latin America, from south like Argentina, Uruguay, to north like Mexico, that they are increasing the number of European vehicles on the streets. The vehicle park in Australia with diesel applications is increasing, especially with the SUV. So Asia specifications is becoming all the more important in Australia as well. So it's a very dynamic time for the automotive market as it adjusts, redevelops and anticipates what a more sustainable future needs to look like. And by purchasing a product that's certified to ASEA performance levels, you're setting your brand apart. Product meeting ASEA sequence will also enable oil marketers meet end user needs while delivering a positive experience, convenience and peace of mind. Following the release of the latest ASEA sequences, oil marketers have one year whereby they can still make new claims to the old version. And then following that, a further year whereby they need to upgrade their entire portfolio to meet the latest performance requirements.